Hi, I'm Jared Dixon. Hi, I'm Jane Dixon, and this is Maddox Strickland. I'm Danielle Strickland. I'm David Strickland. When you live in the state of Alabama, you learn at a young age about the rivalry between Auburn and Alabama. For that one day a year, families, houses, siblings, and even friends are divided. The Auburn and Alabama rivalry is the greatest in all of college sports. The winner gets to brag for 364 days. The Alabama and Auburn football programs were less than a year old when the school staged the first game of what was to become the most intense interstate college rivalry in the nation. I chose to sp speak about the Iron Bowl today because, like many people, I experienced the rivalry firsthand. I grew up in Alabama, and as a young boy, I chose to like Auburn, just simply because my mom did. As I grew older, I really started to like Auburn on my own. I went to my first Iron Bowl in Tuscaloosa, Alabama on November 26, 2007. The stadium was divided. One side was white and red, and the other was blue and orange. I have never seen a football game with that type of atmosphere. And of course, in the end, Auburn won 17-10. In my speech, I would like to focus on the history and great tradition of the Iron Bowl. In Daniel A. Moore's book, Iron Bowl Gold, he describes the rivalry. Other states boast great traditional rivalries. Games such as Texas and Texas A&M, Georgia and Georgia Tech, USC and UCLA, and even Florida and Florida State. But the Iron Bowl seems to generate a passion like no other. Crimson Tide and Tiger loyalties run deeper than, the, than any bloodline. The passion is so great in the hearts and minds of Alabamians, it can cause health problems. Friends can turn into enemies during the course of a game, and entire business deals can actually depend on the outcome of the game. In a state that has had a century-old love affair with college football, this one, 60 Minutes of Football, determines bragging rights in Alabama for the next 364 days. The losers have only next year to cling to, because the scores of other games during the season really don't matter. The Iron Bowl was named um, basically because it started in Birmingham. And Birmingham, of course, was built around huge iron ore deposits in Alabama's hill country. Only 450 people were at Birmingham's Lakeview Baseball Park on February 22, 1893, to witness what would eventually become the first Iron Bowl. That historic game saw Auburn walk away with a 32-22 victory. Little did the handful of football fans realize what would develop from the first encounter. From the time of the series' conception until a 6-6 tie in 1907, Auburn dominated, winning 7 of 11 games. The early years were highlighted by intense, hard-nosed football, promoting the traditional reasons the rivalry became so popular and important to football fans in the state. More than 100 years later, the game would become the state's great divider. Perhaps one unusual fact that after 1907, the two schools didn't even meet for 40 years. And, you know, this added to the intensity of the series when it was, re when it was resumed, of course. Eli Gold, who is the University of Alabama's, um, their game day announcer, the football announcer, he said the intensity will never end. Um, I mean, maybe the fact that until 18, I mean, I'm sorry, 1989, it was held every year in Birmingham with the tickets split between the schools has added to the passion and electricity of the game. Whatever the reason, the Iron Bowl has incredible impact on the state and its people. Um, 74 total games have been played between Auburn and Alabama. Um, Alabama leads the total series 40. Um, Alabama has won, I'm sorry, Alabama's won 40 games. Auburn has won 33, and they've actually tied one. Um, the game has been played at 10 different locations. And the rivalry has lasted on and off for 116 years. That's a long time. Between the two teams, they have a total of 14 national championships. Uh, Alabama has 13, of course, and my team, Auburn, only has one. They have three Heisman Trophy winners between the two. Alabama has Mark Ingram, who actually won it last year in 2009. And we have Bo Jackson and Pat Sullivan. Bo Jackson was a running back, and Pat Sullivan was a, one of our really good quarterbacks. So. So as you can see, you know, three Heisman Trophy winners between the three, the two, I'm sorry. 
One of the most memorable, ga memorable games of the series was held on December 2, 1989. It marked the first time the game was played in Auburn, and the Tigers made it a day to remember. Alabama entered with a perfect 10-0 record, but left with a 30-20 defeat. The win gave Auburn a share of the SEC title along with Alabama. It also marked the last Alabama-Auburn game for Bill Curry, which is currently Georgia State's coach. In conclusion, while the past few years have proved, proved to be turbulent times for both programs, both Alabama and Auburn have had success in the past few seasons. Since 1997, they have both played in the, in the SEC championship games despite going through six coaches in the past ten years combined. So, you know, both teams have gone through actually six coaches combined. The future now looks brighter than ever with the Iron Bowl now being played on each school's campus permanently for the first time in history. Who will earn bragging rights in 2010? Only time will tell. Alabama's famous coach, Coach Paul Bear Bryant, once said, I know one thing, I'd rather die now than to have died this morning and miss this game.